This is the Conqueror GC. This is a British Tier 10 SPG. The map is Ruinburg. I am going to get 2,100 damage in this game. For those of you who don't know, I do play on the North America server, which is why I have a high ping time, uh, 220, 200. Um, I am in the Philippines. I am in the city of Cebu. And uh, this is from World of Tanks 1.7.1. You can see that the enemy SPG has shown himself. I don't think I'm going to take him out of the game. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to maximize my circle by getting those dots off of that building. And I was able to take uh, General GSP out of the game. Or it, actually, it might be Generic GSP. Uh, that FV4005, he's not doing himself any favors. You know, he's going to go over there, but I have a pretty good idea where he is, and he's a huge prize. I would love to hit him. So let's see what happens. I do have a World of Tanks podcast. Uh, you can find it on websites such as Spotify and other major podcast uh, websites. Okay, so it looks like I did nail that FV4005. It definitely hit something. We don't know what it is. And because I hit a vehicle, if he was lightly armored, there's a good chance I did a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I don't have the information from the after-game stats. I didn't keep a record of what may have happened. Uh, in this position that I'm in, which is kind of right around here where I spawned, you can hit this corridor. You can hit out in the field. You can hit these vehicles over here. So it's actually a pretty good position. It's not so bad. Uh, I would definitely recommend... You play over here. I got 350 on the object, 2684. I would definitely recommend playing either over here or in the bottom left corner. And then what you want to do is as the game continues, you want to move north so you can hit all the Anakims that are hiding behind the buildings over here. Oh, I wish. Oh, let's see. Can we see his hit points? He is down like 500 hit points. We got an arty party. This is, well, I can't say it, unfortunately. I don't want the YouTube sensors uh, to, to engage. So I will say that it's a form of dream that SPG players have when you have a lot of uh, vehicles all in one location. Okay, so I took out the T110E5. That's the second vehicle I took out of the game. I am a little bit concerned because we don't have really strong defenses in the city. And I do have to be careful about that. That looks like he's a lightly armored vehicle. Actually, he was just taken out of the game. Kirkle was just taken out of the game. Facundo. So Facundo, I believe, means tired in Spanish. However, it, Facundo uh, sounds dirty in English, but I believe it does mean tired. Uh, there's a player here with that name, which is this guy right here. Maidana, Facunda, Facundo Maidana. Very sneaky. So I must have gotten a lot of damage on that FV. I mean, what else explains it? We're about to win this game. What an easy game. Going directly for that armor. I know you think, well, if you go after his front armor, you might not do any damage. Okay, so I only did 94 damage. But it's hit or miss. Like, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. There's no specific rule. Obviously, I often aim at the side, but, you, but I do try both. Sometimes I aim for the side. Sometimes I hit the armor just to see what's going to happen. Uh, there's no one to show me the proper way to do it. 90% of the time, I aim for the side. I almost never try to hit the tank directly. I believe this is a case where I was actually trying to aim through that window. But wasn't reloaded. Okay, that's the game. I took two of these bad boys out, and I got 2,100 damage. So it looks like I got an extra 1,200 damage that was not reported in-game. Okay, that's the game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.